Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I thought I would jump on the unicorn bandwagon that is very popular at the moment and design an easy DIY unicorn invitation. Firstly, I printed out all pages from our unicorn template which is available in our Etsy store and also our website. I will leave a link to those in the description. The first cardstock is a gatefold. Using the guides, I score each side. If you don't have a scoreboard, the back of a butter knife and a ruler on a soft surface will do the same thing. I then cut slightly inside the line so that you would not be able to see any visible printed areas. Fold both the sides over, score over the edge and you're done. I printed the next page on glitter paper which can be purchased in our Etsy store. Our glitter paper does not shed and can be printed on. Please make sure that your glitter paper can be put through your printer before doing this. Alternatively, you can make a mask by printing on cardstock, cutting that out and then trace and cut the glitter paper. Instead of printing a digital glitter paper image, I use a paper that has real glitter particles for extra luxury and sparkle. The unicorn head is a bit tricky to cut out, but if you make sure that you have small scissors, it would make the task much easier. I'm using Cutter B Scissors by EK Success, which is great for detail cutting. I printed the next page on white matte cardstock. When cutting out the background, follow the crop marks, which are the eight black lines in the corners. Using a trimmer is the easiest and make sure you start from the top of the mark and not cut all the way off the page. If you don't have a trimmer, you could use a blade knife and ruler. Just be very careful that you don't cut your fingers. When cutting out the main invitation, make sure you leave a little bit of white showing after the pink frame. Glue the invitation to the glitter paper. Then glue the glitter paper to the background. Next, stick the background to the gatefold. I added diamante rhinestones to some areas for a nice effect. I used 38mm satin ribbon in pink for this invitation and tied a nice bow. I cut the ends with material scissors and not the busy bees because they don't cut through material. 
I went over the ends with a lighter so that the edges of the ribbon were sealed and would not fray. Lastly, I glued and stuck on the unicorn head in the middle of the bone. And voila! A magical unicorn invitation that is easy to make yourself. Don't forget the template is available for purchase via the links in the description or click on the eye in the top right hand corner of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.